what's up my decos, all of us deconstructing our thinking, getting rid of all those crazy things we were taught as kids or as teenagers or whatever. They were totally incorrect, maybe sat in our minds too strongly. Today there's so much going on. We're watching our little niece, Zelly, say hello. Chatterbox all the time, she won't stop talking and then when you want her to say something, what's that? What's that? What does that mean? Why? Why? Look at that yellow and green. Today we'll check out the Tiffany Supreme keychain that I grabbed. I have a whole bunch of merch from Astro World. I really haven't gone over what happened there. I mean, I shared my video of the footage. I mean, I thought maybe you guys would just know based off of the footage that I shared, but you didn't get to see any of that merch or items that I won at some of the games or that Abby won. Abby played the games really well. Maybe I can get her to even talk on the vlog today just to get her insight of the event, what she kind of saw from it and then we'll just go over different sneakers that are going to be releasing in the next coming month so let's get to it all right we are going to get into the supreme tiffany's merch uh or the pff, keychain i guess before i do that let's break into the boxer briefs now i have i haven't opened yet i'm just keeping these on ice got purple last year black ones obviously i think i even have some from 2017 oh you can't even see see that that fw17 i don't know if that's anything special having old boxers i'm gonna get into these definitely make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already all of us deconstructing changing our thinking which really should be everybody but some of us needed a lot more than others i personally needed a lot i mean i show you guys my streetwear because honestly like there's nobody else in this town that cares about streetwear besides me i mean the other people they must be being super quiet i mean i do deliver the mail that's like my regular job so i know some people getting cactus jack fulfillment they just get like one t-shirt or something but this one dude gets like 20 pairs of Yeezys every drop and I mean obviously he's probably just a stock X reseller I don't know who it is and I've never seen him outside of his house so haven't been able to contact him so that's why I made the chance just for me to get out and talk to people around learn how to say words correctly learn terminologies I'm breaking some evidence tape right now do not tamper with the evidence bro seriously I'm breaking it open with my supreme knife here got it a few years back is this the SIG one, I think? I can't even remember. Oh no, it's the SOG, S-O-G. Really nice clasp. Replaced my hunter knife, cause never technically gone hunting. Oh wait, wasn't I gonna get into the boxers first? All you see is paper. Let's do the boxers. Uh... I just got the pink ones. They're still available on Supreme's website, so. I mean, right now they are. They might not be like a few days from now. But as of recording this, uh, we did get two box logo stickers. Supreme always includes in their packaging. I mean, unless you're super unlucky or something. But yeah, it is all pink. You can barely read the Supreme on there. Like, the pink is so light. It does say Fall Winter 21, the bottom right. Yeah, every Supreme item has a special code that includes the year and then the item number. This is accessory number 51 for the Fall Winter 21 collection. All right, now we'll get to the Supreme Tiffany. Oh, why do I like the boxer briefs? Because they don't write up that badly. You don't want to deal with that chafing. It's just not fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Opening it up. Here's our little Tiffany's box. But first, let's look at some of these stickers. We got the Supreme Tiffany box logo look at that look at how pretty that is i have so many stickers and i'm gonna use them at some point hopefully on a surfboard more on my longboard although now i'm not really longboarding anymore because it's way too cold outside and uh, it's like christmas time so that's when the post office gets really busy so i don't really have any time to do that let's just do a close-up unboxing of this so we have underneath our little label silver knife and then, oh, I think I'm gonna have to, oh wait, hey look. It says Supreme under here. Get this off of here. It's kind of a nice texture on here actually. Like leather almost, but it's definitely paper. Inside we have our little bag and we have a Tiffany & Co. with our care instructions. Felt bag, pretty close to felt, something like that. Oh wow, this like bag has like two little compartments in there. Take this out of there, sterling, silver. Gotta get it to focus. There we go. Yeah, look at how bright that is. And this is at 925 sterling, already written on there, 925. And then obviously, this is a knife. So have your sterling silver knife. 
Oh, these little clasps. Down on here it says like uh, 925 Italy. Oh, no, wait. Does it? Yeah, on this one it does. Looks nice. It's just a chain. You like that? It's insanity, right? Favorite shirt right here. All right. A Tiffany & Co. Supreme. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not that bad. And I mean, everybody loves wearing keys, so I was like, hey, I'm wearing a key. Why not? Uh oh. Oh, excuse me. Maybe I'll mute that out. I don't know. Getting this back on there perfectly. All right, Astro World. So me and Abby had so much fun there. Beginning of the day, we basically went to get some breakfast and then took an Uber to the Astro Dome at about nine. And it seemed like the line was kind of screwed up. Like people were not staying in line or staying in the spot that they were originally in. Everybody was just kind of like jumping over each other in a way, like kind of like trampling each other, I guess you would technically say that's what was happening and so I just kind of sat back and waited for the crazy people to finish pushing their way past the gates or whatever. I thought it was gonna be waiting a minute before they opened but like right when I showed up is right when everybody was like let's go we're breaking in and <laughs> I mean I don't know how much of a break-in it was looking at the videos aftermath of the people in the front of the line definitely looks like a break-in looks like it was the people that were breaking in at like 2 p.m or whatever later on that that afternoon but anyways so we get through that i actually was able to get in soon enough to wear my wristband there's like a, a little chip in here that the machine reads and lets you know that you're legit or whatever oh here's mine Mine still has the black clasp thing on it. We ran through there, scanned our thing, showed our vaccination card, like barely. But anyway, so we waited in line for the merch and then obviously somebody spazzed out, shaking on the floor. I don't think they tried to do CPR on that person. Anyways, they were pressing up against the barricades and basically what they started doing is just crowd, like they started picking up the barricades and crowd surfing them. Hopefully nobody got stabbed by some of the feet that were like angled down to to keep it in place. Yeah, so they shut that line down after somebody got injured. It seemed like it was like three hours of just like squeezing up against everybody. There was a bunch of people just running past and so I didn't know what was going on, but the cops were chasing them on their horses and whatnot. So I think it was that group of a few thousand that broke in without tickets in the afternoon. And so, I, I mean, I thought they were just going crazy or just excited to be there and were running to the other field because it was a huge area that Astro World was just massive. So finally did get to a merch line. I stood in line at that merch for like two hours probably. And so now we're looking at like two o'clock or so or 2.30 and so now me and Abby are super hungry so we get our stuff, put it in the locker and I'll show you all those t-shirts after I uh, get done kind of explaining the day. Put all that in the locker and then we go out, get some food. The food line, seriously, another hour and 20 minutes. So we finally get our food, another 30 minutes before it's done cooking. They lost our order. We had to like go up to the window and be like, uh, yeah, we ordered this. This is what we were expecting. They finally <laughs> brought it out to us. Other people that were behind us in line had already gotten their food and left. Like, I don't know. They specifically for us, our food being vegan is kind of rough at this event, at least for Abby. I mean, I just kind of eat everything, whatever's available. Then we go to the other food court and find out that there's no lines at all these food places. We were in the one section towards the entrance to the festival where the food truck lines were just insane. But the food we did get was amazing. Got this really spicy uh, burger and Abby got some really spicy fries with a few veggies on top. And <clears throat> da -da -da -da. Then after, then after that, we went ahead and used some of our magic money to play some games. They gave us a whole bunch of these bandanas as like souvenirs for not winning the game. After a few, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and get some different other prizes, but the bandana itself, um, I did wear one at the event around my neck because it was getting cold. I think they're selling online, but I really haven't posted anything. I just don't feel right about it. I mean, I was there, so I feel like it's okay for me to keep it. I mean, maybe you just, Wanted as a keepsake. They also had other consolation prizes for not winning games. Um, they had this Cacti air freshener. That one was kind of kind of fun. Another Cacti one. Mind you, they were selling Cacti everywhere. I did not drink any Cacti because it's hot outside. I'm gonna be walking around. Don't really need to be drunk at this event with all the craziness happening. I was like kind of scared of getting robbed. I don't know. I mean, whenever I'm in a new place and there's that many people, like, I mean, other festivals, I would never bring anything valuable around with me, but it's like my clothes are valuable at this event. Like, it's weird, but I got this pin. 
I thought these pins were kind of lame. I thought they were plastic, but, and I was like declining them forever. I was telling people, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I finally took one because I felt like I'd already had a bunch of the other prizes. And I've come to find out there's a couple of different ones and they're kind of nifty. The third annual festival, Astral World, November 5th and 6th, 2021, Houston, Texas, open your eyes to a whole new universe. I did get a pack of stickers. This I actually had to get at the gift shop later at night. I was in the gift shop line for seriously, it seemed like two and a half hours. Basically missed all of the night acts and the beginning of Travis Scott's act because of that stupid gift shop line. But once you get up to the front, you're like, dude, I've only got like 20 minutes. You think you're gonna get through, whatever. Got some patches, these were just prizes, again. They're Velcro patches, so you basically would sew this part on to whatever denim or whatever, and then just Velcros the patch on there. I think I got three of those. I don't know where the third one is. And then got one lighter. Thought this was the coolest one. Just gonna focus on this. Yeah, the eyeballs. <laughs> I got one deck of cards, that's it. I thought it was, I mean, a weird consolation prize, but me and Abby play cards. Like I made a card game one time. I mean, it's a sucky card game, the worst dice and card game. Actually, I think it's kind of fun, but nobody wants to buy it really. You guys can look back on my videos and learn about that card game I invented. But anyways, we have this uh, eyeball keychain. I was actually wearing this around my neck instead of this Tiffany's, because when I first got this chain, I was like, oh, I want to wear something. And I was like, I'm going to wear a keychain anyway. So there's the eyeball. Eyes roll back, right? <laughs> it's so crazy. And then at the top, or it does say Astral World up at the eye. We played the this one game and we played it so many times and then the guy was like, oh, you guys want a consolation prize? We were like, sure, this was before we knew you could get a consolation prize every game for losing. And he gave us each one of these eyeballs, so. Got two of them, good times. Uh, this was actually in the merch line. You had to buy this from the merchant and now I feel like it's kind of, I don't know. At the time it seemed cool. They had some other colors. Here's another consolation prize, this little keychain. I was gonna get more of them, but I had so many Magic Money tickets left the first day that I was like, the second day, I'm just gonna go ham. Me and Abby are just gonna have fun, just play around. Um, we did win one of the games. There's this one game where you shoot water and it goes into uh, this little, I don't know, whatever thing. It fills up this big column and then a light goes off at the top once your column is filled if you're the first. Got this fanny pack. I thought it was kind of nifty. Just light gray and black and white embroidery. Abby won one of the games and she, oh, here's that other patch. I got to do a three of them. Abby won uh, the, the horse racing game. So it's kind of like that game where you roll balls down a lane and they shoot up and land in like different point system holes or whatever, or it just goes down to the bottom and it doesn't land in any of them and you don't get any points. But each time you roll the ball down its lane and it lands in, into one of the point um, spots, then your horse moves across this racetrack a little bit at a time. So each time you make it in and you only have one uh, golf ball basically is what they were giving us, so you just have to wait for it to come back to you and you keep going and keep going and keep going as, as often as you can until somebody wins. She was the fastest at that. We played that a few times. That one was kind of lame because they, they didn't have consolation prizes all the time. I, I don't know, maybe they were saving the, a lot of the prizes for the second day because they didn't want to run out, which they had a ton left over after the first day. But yeah, so Abby got uh, this brown one. Once we got the brown one, I knew I needed to get the gray one. And so we went after it. At the end of the day, at that gift shop, if you spent a hundred bucks, you would get one pull at the, the Zoltar Speaks thing. We did it a few times. What I bought there at the gift shop at the end of the night, this hat, this beanie, Abby really liked it. She thought it was cute. It's a good color. It's like a pinkish gray. It almost just looks gray and then has gray print at the top. This one is reselling, so I was like, eh. We can make some money off of that. The Zoltar thing had these prizes that you could potentially win. Uh, we did not win any of those. All of our Zoltar things were unsuccessful. And it's sad because, I mean, some of this stuff, like seriously, dude, like didn't even get taken. So this is the, these are like some of the prizes they had at the games, but you could also buy them at the gift shop. So like I bought the lighter at the gift shop and then I got some of the socks. See these other pins they have? Here's those other pins. Like I got this star one, but then apparently they got like 
all these other pins. The cacti one would've been kinda cool, but I don't know. I like to drink cacti when I know it's safe to do so and I have a good source of water, good people around me that can help and take care of me if anything goes wrong. I was not in that situation. It was just me and Abby and I felt like I was supposed to protect her, so. Another reason why I didn't have cacti. Um, but just some other things in here that they had for prizes, some of the other hang things or whatever. And then, oh wait, didn't they have the, oh, the fanny packs are up here. Yeah, so they actually had the fanny packs for purchase. Oh, and then there's the bandana. They had some other ones, but I didn't really want those other ones because um, the fabric on the bandana just seems like it's a really cheap polyester, nothing that fancy. So yeah, there's the gift shop paper. And then the Houston Chronicle came out with this insert. This was probably part of the problem for why there was just so many people at the event on November 5th. They were handing out at the event. They just had the inserts for the Houston Chronicle. And yeah. Let's get into these socks. This is one of the pair. This is actually the pair of socks that I won at one of the games. It was like this baseball throwing game where you throw it at the milk containers, but they're super heavy, like metal milk containers, and you had to hit them so they went off of the platform. I was able to successfully do that on my first try and win some socks. I think you had to hit two of them off to get the socks, so I was <laughs> trying not to hit three, which is weird because you know you want to do the best you can, but then you would get a pillow, which I mean those pillows were kind of cool, but where am I supposed to put them? You know, especially shipping. Oh. Oh, and at the gift shop, they gave us some Astral World shopping bags. So we filled up three of them because we had those three. This is another gift shop item. So it's already released, but they had some extras. Yeah, this was actually the last one in the gift shop when I went in there. It was their display option, and I had to make sure it was okay. Nobody had claimed it before they were going to sell it to me. So I don't know, whatever. And then the socks. Yes. I'm going ham on socks lately. I don't know. What's gotten over me? I mean, last video showed you guys my new denim tear socks. Okay, so we have the brown ones with the tie dye, the blue ones with the tie dye. Oh, I did get, I did win the black ones with the tie dye. Okay, I thought maybe I hadn't won those, but I did. So, all right, cool. The white cacti and the gray cacti. Just some brown Astral World ones. Gotta love brown. It's the gray print. And then the black with the white print. Nothing too special there. This blanket, actually Abby was wearing this blanket and it was part of the reason why I left early is because she was wearing all of the clothes that she brought and she was still cold. We bought her this blanket. That's the main reason why we couldn't leave the gift shop line. She's like, I am not going over there without something warmer. And this is why we were in the gift shop line is to get this blanket just so she could be a little bit warmer. And I was looking over at her during the concert afterwards, like the Travis concert. I was like, she looks so cold. I feel so bad. So I wanted to bring her back to the hotel room, even though it was a crappy hotel room. It was only 40 bucks a night. But this was also one of the prizes you could get at the beginning of the day if you won the game. But um, the games where you would win this blanket were like the impossible basketball shooting games. And literally there were the people from Sneakers playing that basketball game. Like basketball stars basically. Basketball royalty. Sneaker royalty people. <laughs> what was that? Like uh, Summer Beach or whatever? I uh, can't remember what it is. Their little, their, their group name of those people that do that show for Sneakers. Anyways, they didn't make any shots. Neither did I. So we went to the gift shop and got ourselves the Astro World Blanket. Uh, super nice place. Um, this was actually in the merch line, these pins. I don't think you could win these. And I thought they were just kind of cool commemorative little thing here. I lost my mind at Astro World, but they gave me this pin instead. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is like, that's prophetic right there. I mean, everybody's coming up with their prophetic uh, takes on the event and everything, which is hilarious. Here's a hat from the merch line. I wasn't really gonna grab a hat, but somebody bought this one and it didn't fit him right, so I just gave him cash for it. Uh, you know, I'm a nice guy, right? No, I'm, I'm just playing. That hat's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get into some of these t-shirts. I have put them in this bucket. I don't know how I got all these to fit inside of the tiny locker. 18 by 12 by 12. Anyways, here's the hoodie. I have this uh, in some of my pictures that I've posted, so if you want to see me wearing it, you can go back and find that. I'm not going to put it on right now. I've got too many items to show you. Um, but here's the back. And then the front just has the one graphic at the top. This is that same graphic that was on um, the 
the VIP shirts that they gave out early. Everybody was reselling those at Skate Shop, so like 200 bucks, they were expecting to go up in price, and nothing is going up in price from this event because of the terrible situation that happened. And honestly, I really don't really even want to sell my stuff that I have. I think I already said that. But I feel okay wearing it because like I was there, like I was part of it, even though it was horrible. But here is one of the black ones. These are all size large that I grabbed. I'm six foot one, 150 pounds. They're all gonna fit me pretty well. It is um, a boxier fit, all these shirts, except for one of them, except for the bright pink one. These are all gonna be more of a more square fit, but all in all, pretty good length, um, pretty good size. Oh, did I show you the back of that one? I guess I didn't. It's the same back as the long sleeve brown one. But yeah. This is part of the problem for why people were making weird assumptions at the beginning, because we have this dart going into this eyeball. It's kind of pokey, you know, like that could maybe be confused as a syringe, but it's obviously not. Oh man, I'm getting hair on this already. <laughs> My stuff from, I've, I've sold some stuff on Goat and they just keep sending it back to me because they keep saying it's used because there's hair on it because I keep opening everything and showing you guys and so I can't sell anything on Goat anymore. I'm just gonna have to like, keep it or sell it to people on Instagram or something. So here's the front of this one and the back. This one I saw a few people wearing the next day and I was like, holy, that's a fire tee. It's like, did I get that one? I looked through my stuff. I was like, yeah, this is all puff print. So it just looks cool. Like at the right angle is like, it just kind of, I don't know. And obviously the stars in the front are puff print. All these labels on the back of the neck are, are like exactly the same. If you want to see the label, I mean, they're all gonna basically look like that. I don't think there's even any tags. No, this is a tag or This is a tube shirt, so. The greatest of all time. I really like this one. I know a lot of people might be hating on it, but uh, I think it's still, it's not selling for much online, maybe a hundred bucks. Uh, most people aren't letting it go for a hundred bucks. They don't want to. I've seen a few people trying to put them on eBay and do auctions, um, but nothing's happening with their auctions. And if they do sell, they normally cancel the order because it's not what they were expecting it to go for or something. I don't know what people are expecting right now, but it'd be even cooler if uh, it was a successful event. It'd be way better. See you on the other side. And then we've got our lollipop dude. Is that what that is? Yeah, see, that's a, this is like a lollipop, but then over top of it, you have that skull with these weird... No, I think that's just part of the lollipop here. See the band around the, the circle? It's like a circle and a band to show that it's a lollipop, but then it's going down into the void where all of us go to Utopia. All right, now we get to this pink one. This pink one, I don't know if it's supposed to be a girl's cut or something. It seems like it's maybe even a different fabric type, but it is much longer than my other tees, and it's not as wide. It's just a different cut. It's more of a standard cut. Got our flame dude in yellow. Festival 21 guy flying here. What is this? It's just like mushroom, just like a field or something. And then on the back, we've got our giant face. See you in Utopia. Astro World 21. Yeah, just a see you in Utopia down there. This is puff print too, so I don't know if that means anything. That one was a little bit weird. I don't know if I really would have grabbed it besides just like selling it to somebody or something. I mean, maybe I'll need some pink that color. It's like Pepto-Bismol pink. Oh, this is the back. No, wait, this is the front. Look at that. We got our flower on the front there with our galaxy. See you on the other side is in puff print. Really puff print. Holy. That's like double layered, I think. I think it's thicker than the other ones. And then on the back side, got your live from Utopia Mountain. So that's supposed to be Utopia Mountain. We're supposed to be all having a great time. If we would have vacated the premises when it was appropriate, it would have been a great time, but we didn't vacate. Why didn't we vacate? Only like 1% of us knew that we should be vacating. The other 99% had no clue we should be vacating. I mean, I basically vacated once I figured it out. I mean, Abby was also cold or whatever, but there's also like, it didn't seem, <clears throat> pretty sure there was somebody next to me that was not doing well on the ground so that made me want to leave but yeah this tie-dye one this is the one I first wanted wanted this for me I wanted to rock this one I saw one kid went through the line and he was wearing it right after I was like damn I gotta get that hopefully there's still one left but he just got the flame 
and then you've got the void. That's the void, and he's falling into the void. Whoever this dude is, what does he have on? Probably Air Max ones, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. There's just so many t-shirts from this event. I didn't even get, I only got that one hoodie, but I didn't even get all the t-shirts. There's still four of them that I didn't get. The black version of this one was only available at the main merch stand, which they shut down. I was not able to go to that merch stand. But this one is just all white. This is a $45 tee. They just, it's just a nice cut. And then it has just the graphic on the front. But yeah, they had a black version of this one that I did not get. They had a whole bunch of the these concert tees with like just a skeleton dude standing on the side in three different colorways. One of them was green. Don't remember the other two, maybe gray and black or something. But those three, they were at that main merch stand. Couldn't get those either, so that's sad. Um, this shirt, I think it's going on eBay for like 90 bucks right now. I think some people are actually letting it go. I don't know, maybe they got a, a big bucket of them and <laughs> were able to run out of the event. But you've got this hand, if you don't notice, this bottom one has a void on the bottom of it. And this, there's two top ones, kind of trying to catch these balls. See you on the other side, Astroworld Fest 2021. Astroworld Live. Okay, good times. See you in Utopia up there at the top. This one here is basically the white version of that other black one with the mouth on it, but this mouth is different. Doesn't have that weird gradient thing going on with the blue down at the bottom. Just has the lips all the way across with your pierced tongue. And each side of that tongue is actually a globe. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm into the continents, so it's kind of fun. And you've got this dude falling into the mouth, some stars on the tongue, some chipping on the teeth. Backside, just on the back of the neck, up at the top of the back of the neck. Kind of nice. It's actually a really slip, like a really shiny ink. It's almost like a rubberized little coating on there. So a little bit different. This front one is just a regular uh, screen printing and then you have the puff print for these letters on here. That's the last white one of the whole event. I think I got all the white ones. And then the infamous, oh wait, got two brown ones left. So second to last brown one, got this hand with all the eyes in it. It's so weird, like this eyeball is kind of punching out of the side there. And like this one coming out over here. <laughs> and then see you in Utopia, and Utopia is kind of wrapped around the backside. I thought that was kind of a cool touch, just to wrap the graphic down below. Probably costs extra to do that, so this one was, you know, up there like the other t-shirts with the multi-print uh, styles. This one also has that rubbery coating on that one little Astral World tag on the tee. This is even, these stars are even a different kind of a print. It's like a really light puff print or something. But yeah, there's that one. Now, we get to the last one. <laughs> the infamous, like I was saying. The one Travis was actually wearing, the one I wore in one of my last videos, so if you want to see me wearing it, it's actually this Denim Tears video. I already gave a plug for that one, so yeah, definitely check out that video if you want to see me wearing this. But yeah, the people, they're just, you know, lazy. They don't know about music. They don't know about, you know, getting into to, to raging and everything, and then you break through. You, your mind is opened up to all these new possibilities, and now... You're the flame, or you are a rager. It's even got one over here on the sleeve too. Kind of a cool touch, and then that rubberized um, tag on there again. The back side, I have this eyeball, which is like a balloon that's been deflated. See that, the top of the balloon? See how it's tied off? And this is like, a, so it's supposed to be like a full eyeball. The dart hit it, and now it's deflating. I don't really know exactly what that is supposed to mean. Maybe we would have known the second day if we would have been there for the second day. Um, but yeah, it says World Fest 21. See you on the other side. Um, November 5th and 6th, 2021. But yeah, so this is one Travis is wearing. This is why I think all the syringe stories came from. I'm sure they were just trying to put the blame everywhere except for on the, uh, the people who own the companies they were supposed to uh, manage the event. Because obviously, I mean, somebody who goes from stage to stage doing tours and tours and tours and tours. How are they supposed to be able to watch over one event that was six months in the works? I mean, like you're out playing music, you expect these people that you pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to to take care of everybody at the event and to follow their freaking like rules that they're supposed to do. Like there's all these things they're supposed to follow, all these guidelines, and they were not followed, so. Or not as closely as they should have been. They should have vacated when things were having an issue. Okay, 
Let me go ahead and get Abby's take on the event. Yeah, I mean, I do like Cacti, obviously. So I'm just telling everybody about uh, our Astro World event. I just showed them all oh. of the merch and all of the items. I didn't know if there's anything you wanted to add, like... We stood in line a long time. Yeah, I know, I kind of said that. <laughs> it's mostly standing in line. Mostly, yeah. No, we had fun. I mean, we played the games. You won a game? Which I one? did win a game. It was very exciting. What was the game? The um, the one where you roll the balls and you have to get them into the little holes. And the smaller the hole is, the higher your points are. And I won a really cool um, fanny pack that I actually plan on wearing. Or you were planning Although on Although now it's tainted, so I don't know. It's weird now it to is. wear it. Well, I won the brown one, but then later Stefan won the gray one, and so we traded. Because I like the brown one, or the gray one better, I think. Oh, you do? Yeah, and I like brown. Brown's my color. I guess I don't know how to feel about it, because I mostly went to support you because you wanted to go, and then, I mean, now that all those people died, it's so sad. I don't even like thinking about it. Because it's hard to know what to do with the information. You were there, you technically participated in an event where a bunch of people died, so... But the know, staff, just weird. the staff were there. They had a, a, like a layout. They said if if it's an unsafe environment, they're supposed to vacate that area. And I think the staff just weren't aware of that paperwork. They hadn't read it about the vacate issue. You know, yeah. if there was too much uh, congestion. I do think it was poorly set up, and that's probably the main reason. But all the Why fences, all those people they had all those fences, they just crushed. kept breaking them down. Maybe it was just too many people. Maybe they need to limit the amount of people they allowed in. But there's concerts know. with even more people. I don't think you can blame any certain one thing. Besides the fact that the staff didn't vacate the area. Why didn't they have people vacate? Yeah, but when you have such a huge crowd, and it's dark, and the music is really loud, and the lights are going, it's really hard to know what's going on. Yeah. I mean, we were there, it was hard to see what was happening. Yeah. Until we saw that one girl who... Passed out. Yeah. And they were doing CPR on her right next to us, and at that point we decided it's probably a good time to go. Well, you were freezing, and I kept saying, I you look silly, all wrapped in your blanket. <laughs> yes, we bought a blanket just so I could wrap myself in it, and I was still cold, and Stefan was embarrassed with me, so... <laughs> It's like, you look hilarious. She was like, you have to have sleep the night. I was cold. I'm yeah. usually cold. No, that's okay. And you're wearing all your sweaters, like everything I you know. Bought. I bought a sweater to wear. I bought a blanket to wrap myself in. I bought a hat. Yeah, even then. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was just chilly. I was still enjoying it, though. I mean, it was still nice. And then when they were even chanting Drake, we were already walking across the bridge to get out. Yeah, we were leaving and watching all the people with no shoes walk out with us. Because nobody had Some shoes of them on. Did. We did. Okay, we had shoes on. We Other were farther in the back. Very few people had shoes on. Like 50% at least. And I don't think And then so. they had a lost and found. Because I remember saying, like, what happened to all these shoes? Why yeah. is everyone walking with, like, one or no shoes on? It was mainly, like, white teenage boys that didn't have their shoes, though. That's true. It was only white teenage boys, probably. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I remember first thing in the morning when we got into the gate, there was already people with no shoes. Right. Or one shoe missing, so. Yeah, during the line, during the I think the they night. were just throwing shoes at each other in the crowds, you know? I guess. Because they were throwing water bottles. But they had, like, all these barricades and fences. I felt like they had it laid out, but it just seemed like people, people were, got through anyways. They were just amped up to get in, and they just didn't care. Yeah. But I guess this, I still, that staff for not vacating just hurts me so bad now. I keep thinking about it. What if, what if we would have vacated? That would have been the saving yeah. point, but I mean, at least we vacated once we saw it was a problem. I yeah, wish more people did. would have instead of just filming. Keep my phone away. Even when we walked out of the event, remember, we were trying to get an Uber. There's no service. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get service forever. That's true. You can get service till you were outside of the way out gate area. Yeah. Like down the street. And then there was how many, how many sirens were there? There's a lot. Like, it was non-stop It was like an sirens. endless line of emergency Emergence. vehicles. Yeah. yeah, as we were leaving. Other than that, do you have anything else to add? <laughs> I don't think so. We survived it. That's a whole new meaning to the word we survived after a world. People used to say that just kind of like for fun or whatever. Because it was wild and you got it is no wild. sleep. And, yeah. You do, yeah, you don't get any sleep. But yeah, definitely um, at, at the next event, they're going to remember this. This is going to be a big deal. Yeah. So. 
Well, that always happens. I mean, something bad happens and hopefully as a result of it, they make the changes necessary so it doesn't happen again. Oh, yeah, they already are. So hopefully yeah. they do that. Especially like day in Vegas, that event, they're like, they're being really cautious. Mm -hmm. So that's good at least. All right, well, thanks for uh, talking. Yeah, our everybody. condolences to those who have got injured. I know. And lost loved ones. It's really hard to think about. Yeah, it is. I know. I was really out of it and felt so weird for a long time. Because yeah, it's just information that you don't really know what to do with and it's hard to process. Well, we can move on. I guess. Oh, my Tiffany thing came in today. Did you? Your Christmas nice gift to yourself? Hey. You didn't even <laughs> open it? It's right here. I'm wearing it. Oh, you opened it and put the ribbon back on? Yeah, I keep the packaging nice. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> okay. So there it is. Wow. It's got this little knife. I expected it to be more sparkly when you said it was from Tiffany's. It's sterling silver. Oh, Doesn't have I thought diamonds. it was like going to be covered in diamonds. Oh, that would have been very expensive. <laughs> well, it kind of was expensive. Kind of. Here you go. You can have a necklace. You like it? <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> you know what to say. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's weird that it's a knife. You're not a Tiffany's person. I don't really care about... Brands? Stuff like that. Yeah, now look at all these fingerprints we got all over it. But it's very weird that it's a knife key, isn't it? What it's are you going to do with that? Well, that's good. Is it like a weapon? Yeah. <laughs> no. Whip out your knife? <laughs> yeah. yeah, emergency situation. Is it a concealed only. carry type thing? No, it's not long it's enough. Oh. It's not longer than my... Well, it doesn't look very sharp, so I guess that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is all right. Yeah. But it can only be shipped within the continental U.S., so oh, cause it's I guess since it's still considered a knife. I'm sure you can't take it on the plane to Hawaii. Oh, I can definitely take it, yeah. Mm, no, you can't. Yeah, you can have knives, but they're not supposed to be You can't have knives. This is a little... It's, uh, it's not a knife. I don't think you can uh, wear that on your... It's a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a fingernail uh, cleaner. <laughs> Really? Yeah, we can okay, so you can tell TSA that when they confiscate it. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, what if I put it in a carry-on? No. Or not a carry-on, in a check a bag. Check yeah. bag? Do that okay. probably, yeah. And if I have it in that little container, then it looks like jewelry. Hopefully they'll think it's jewelry. But yeah, I don't think Supreme would have shipped it to me. Like, if I was living in Hawaii now, they wouldn't have shipped it to me. It wouldn't be available. Oh, because it's, it's continental, continental, yeah. Yeah. Continental Got U.S. It. and Canada only got these ones, so... They took a little longer to sell, like a few seconds longer, I think. But mm. okay. Well, thanks for joining me. You're Do you have welcome. any positive notes we could leave with everybody before we end for today? Um, or we'll talk about sneakers. Be good first. to those around you. Yeah, be good to those around you. Care about everybody's life, especially when you're at concerts. Just well, anywhere, because. Anywhere. We spend more time with our loved ones than we do at concerts. Yeah, but when you go to concerts, it's not your loved ones. You don't really care about them as much, or their safety or health. So maybe we need to be thinking about that more when we're out just around people we don't know to still be courteous and whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, we try. Yeah. I don't do a very good job, but we try. You try. Yeah. I mean, you have something in your chin. Thanks. What is that? Probably zip. Is it food? No, I think it's food. <laughs> oh. <this> morning. <laughs> I still have breakfast on my, on my face. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. All right, okay. I wonder how much recording time I even have left right now. My phone is probably going to die any second. Free shipping ends tonight for StockX, everybody. Just got the email. Oh, did anybody go after the Cool Grays, the Cool Gray Retros? Oh, uh, Jordan 11s? I went ahead and copped those. I got that uh, early notification or the exclusive access on the Sneakers app because I'm always trying for every single drawing and nah, I'm never good at anything lately. But I think they kind of flag your account a little bit if you're always going for like the hype items. And they're like, okay, this dude's just trying to sell everything. So these, I mean, I do sell a lot of it, but not everything. I do wear quite a bit. But anyways, let's go into sneaker news. There's not a whole lot left this year to drop this really hype. Um, the Ame ah, ah, Minyur Jordan 1s, those ones do look pretty fancy. Okay, so we do have the Billionaire Boys Club NMD. People are not into NMDs anymore. Some people are like, why am I, why am I still wearing NMDs? And really, I'm not. You're just watching old videos of me when I was wearing NMDs. I guess I have like one or two pairs of Pharrell's left. Um, but that's because Pharrell is, is dope. And, I, and I, I like Pharrell. I like Billionaire Boys Club too. But anyways, that gray one, that one's kind of dope. And then we have the Concepts New Balance 992 Low-Hanging low Fruit. Um, 240 bucks. 
That one is a US made, I think. Um, that one releases November 20th. They're already released. We have the Nike Dunk High, a woman's Dunk High, just black and white. On the 23rd for 110, if you, if you like dunk highs. We have the number one sneaker of the year, the Dunk Low, another colorway, the Bronze Eclipse on the 24th of November for 100 bucks. That's woman sizing. That one looks pretty amazing. Um, and then also on the 24th, we have the Pink Velvet Dunk Low for, looks like 95. That's a grade school one. And then the, the Pata Nike Air Max One, that burgundy. Uh, Rush Maroon, Metallic Silver, that one's a men's sizing, 170 bucks, uh, amazing sneaker. The resale, maybe not so much, so uh, you could literally, like, not worry about it, buy it later. Or, or, you know, you can try really hard and get it on drop day, but it wouldn't go crazy on, like, paying for bots or anything to get it, because the resale isn't going to be anything, anything bad. Not that I buy bots, I'm totally into just everything manual, but uh, on the 24th, we also have uh, the Adidas Superstar, we got Bape. Uh, doing a collab on that one for 190 bucks. That's uh, U.S. and Europe, and then they're doing the white superstar as well, or the Bapesta. <laughs> but it's a true Adidas collab with Bape, not like they're just you know copying the sneaker like they used to. Um, we have uh, an Adidas Forum Low, the Dracula on the 25th. Nothing special there. Nike Hirashi Prant brand line. I don't know what that is. Oh, look at this. Nike Air Max 90, this woman's size run. It's a velvet, this velvet blue, kind of like a light blue in a way. Um, and then we have a whole bunch uh, on that same day, November 26th. What is that? Is that Thanksgiving or is that Black Friday? Something like that. Um, but we have a whole bunch of the Air Max pre-day releasing. We have all for 130 bucks, but they're all uh, in men's size runs, I think. Oh, no, wait, they have men's size and women's size runs, depending on the colorways. So we have black in men's, purple in women's. We have uh, orange and gray and red in men's. We have tan in men's. And we have another white and pink one in men's. Uh, we have a dunk low on the 26th, just all black with silver swoosh. Almost all black. I mean, the sole has some, some white on it. And that one's on the 26th as well in grade school sizing. And then I don't know if you guys are into Reebok, but we have the Reebok Kamikaze 2 in a bunch of crazy 90s colorways on the 26th, as well as the uh, Question Low Alive with Color uh, for 120 And on the 27th, we have another Nike Dunk High. It's like this yellowish McDonald's colorway uh, for 120 bucks, And then its counterpart, the other McDonald's colorway, I mean, kind of, it's more orange, I guess. But it's this weird uh, burnt orange in a way, and then the gold and, and yellow and white, obviously, on the 27th for 110 in men's size run. Uh, another Reebok Zig Kinetic 2, Kinetica 2. This is an ASAP NAST uh, collaboration, so kind of dope. I have the Brain Dead one. You guys can check out that video if you want. Brain Dead Reebok Zig Kinetica 2. Um, and then another. Uh, Pyre Moss Reebok Experiment for Emergency releasing. This Nike Offline Enamel Green, this looking like a North Face shoe or something, like trying to be all cushiony and, and warm or whatever, but it's a low top, so snow is still gonna get in there. I really feel like it's this, like a weird winter shoe when there's no precipitation or something, and you can, and you can wear that, because it'd be crazy warm, I feel like, but. Yeah, some people just have cold feet. Get those for those people with cold feet, not willing to take a dive or take a jump. Uh, and then on the 29th, we have Reebok Question Pink Toe for 140. Um, uh, more stuff. Reebok Question Pink Toe keeps coming up. Nike Be Do Win. This is such a weird shoe. I don't see it ever gaining ground, but whatever. It's like a crinkled sole, like supposed to be like moon material or it looks like terrain or something 130 bucks on the 30th for that one i have a nike blazer releasing 77 premium sale quilt for 120 on the 30th um oh another bape vans authentic 44 dx on the 30th not sure on sizing for that uh bape on the 30th we'll probably have another van skate high 38 dx and then let's see the cough i feel like the Strawberry Cough already came out. The Nike SB Dunk High for 110 is supposed to be released in November, but I'm pretty sure that already came out. 
This other weird dunk, I don't even know. Dude, that kind of looks cool though. Uh, more dunks, chlorophyll, uh, that's, I don't know if that one released already. It's another November release, another November release, Sakai Cause, Nike Blazer. Maybe that's supposed to be like Black Friday or something, or maybe it already released, who knows. These November ones don't all have dates now that I'm looking at. Oh, but then we get into December. Do we want to look at December? I mean, there's this weird Adidas T-Mac 3 on 12.1, no price point yet. Um, it's looking almost like some of those Adidas Kobe's that used to release when, when Kobe was with Adidas. Um, and we have Swarovski, Nike Air Force One LXX for $450, very, very pricey uh, Air Force One. This is insane. And then we obviously have the white one as well in the women's sizing, they're both in women's sizing. Um, yeah, all those little studs on them, technical studs, I don't know exactly what. We should be getting a Casablanca New Balance XC72 for 150 bucks. That'll hopefully have pictures soon. Um, this G Dragon Nike Quoto One, <laughs> Quando. <laughs> that is a weird looking Nike. I don't know. It's supposed to be like somewhat of a dress shoe. It says it's men's sizing. It looks like it'd be good woman's shoe, but yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to be. I don't know. It kind of looks like an Air Force. Kind of looks like a dress shoe. Could be either or. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? On the 9th of December, we have Air Max 97, looking like a, a burnt uh, gold bullet or something, crinkled or whatever. It's kind of like this weird Christmas time sparkle or shiny leather they're doing. Um, so on the 9th, they're also releasing a dunk low in the woman's sizing with that sparkly silver um, with the color blocking. And then we have the Nike Waffle Trainer 2 with that really goldish colorway. It looks like it should be a women's shoe. The girls would love wearing this. I feel like I've already seen girls wear this shoe, but this is a men's sizing one. Maybe it's a new release, kind of new. Um, yeah, and then now we're just getting into the future here. Another Air Force One Toasty. Overbreak Armor Navy. Another Overbreak Hot Curry. Oh, and then these, this new croc, finally, on the 14th of December. Soleil Bembury, I don't even remember how to pronounce it. I used to, I used to know, I looked it up, but now I'm just reading and it's just, words just look weird. Crocs Polex Clog, so brand new croc design, and maybe it'll take off, it's 85 bucks, a little bit more than the Yeezy Foam Runner, but then again, Yeezy Foam Runners are hard to get for retail, you normally you're gonna be paying that $200 resale price, but uh, Soleil is going to have a couple of different colorways. Looks like a uh, greenish one, olive one, which is amazing. I love olive, and then more of a tannish kind of pink color, a dusty pink or something. A uh, Nike ACG is going to be releasing some more. I thought they already released these, but maybe it's a pre release. Oh, we have a Nike LeBron 9 on the 21st of December. Watch the throne, 230 bucks. Does that have a crown on there? It looks like it has a crown on the laces. Yeah, it might. All right, well, I'm gonna stop there. That's enough for now. Definitely a lot of cool kicks coming out in the next few weeks. I feel like most of the good kicks have already been released. Um, Ame Minure, I don't even know why that one didn't show up. Yeah, so it actually is in the sneakers app, this Air Jordan 1 Ame Minure draw opens December 3rd. I don't know why that isn't on the that website, the sneaker release. Maybe it was and I skipped over it. But yeah, it has some cool features to it. You got that uh, dirty leather on there, almost looking like suede, but I don't think it is. And then the the creamed out sole. Got like this snakeskin print on the leather of that burgundy sort of colorway or whatever it is. And then you have the quilted on the inside, like the inside where your, uh, where your foot goes around the collar. Um, that's kind of that nice quilted stuff. I wonder if there's a better picture of that on here. Kind of, I mean, you can kind of tell that quilted. And yeah, and, the, and the, even the label is sewn down on the heel. So yeah, for sure a premium sneaker and it looks like it'll be available in full size run. Kind of a more unisex sort of thing. I'm hoping sneakers goes to that more unisex sizing sort of situation because I mean, girl sizing and men's sizing, I feel like are pretty much the same. I mean, sort I mean, I buy women's shoes every so often and they, they fit, but like if I buy a, a 12, then it's basically the same as a 10 and a half for Nike, but all right, well, hopefully you enjoyed seeing this wonderful keychain. 
and stay positive out there. Be good to people around you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.